Alrighty, so as promised, today I'm going to share with you guys what the fuck is a strategic growth partner. But first, let me get a chair. So you may be asking to yourself, what is a growth partner? Okay, what, Stefan, you've been talking about strategic growth partner. You talk about all this stuff. What, what actually is it? And well, today I'm going to break it down. What is it? how it works, how you can do it, why it's different than SMMA, and why if you implement it today, you will start to make more money. But first, let me actually show you around because I'm currently in Barcelona. As you can see, we're on a rooftop here on Sunset. We actually have a super nice cold pool here. And I'll show you the view real quick. Okay, because I love you all. You can check this out. Isn't this just beautiful? But what's so beautiful about this is this, this is what being a growth partner allows you to do. It allows you to work on rooftops in Barcelona and make money. And so I'm gonna share with you how you can become a growth partner so you can do exactly what I'm doing, okay? Now, I wanna break this down for you because one thing you have to understand is that being a growth partner, okay, is you gotta grow with your clients. You gotta work alongside your clients. You gotta be one with your clients. You see, what you guys do Okay, what SMMA, what typical agency owners do is you are here and your client is in front of you and you're trying to run this way and your client's trying to run this way. Now let me tell you what, if you know a thing or two, you'd understand that when two people try and run in the same direction against each other, it doesn't really end up well. You don't actually end up going anywhere. So what you should do instead is you should stand here, your client should stand here, you should run together. That's the, every, you may be asking yourself, what the, what the fuck are you saying? What are you saying, running into each other? Okay, let me put it this way. When you phrase your services, okay, as something other than a absolute partnership, it seems as if you guys are conflicting. It seems as if they're renting you or borrowing you or, or kind of just like conflicting with you, okay? But if you use your services as a partnership, as a growth strategic partnership, as a actual mutual sort of uh, a beneficial relationship, you are now partnered up with the person to grow together. Now, what does that allow you to do? Well, it allows you to make a ton more money. It allows you, allows you to charge a lot more money up front. It allows you to reduce churn. It allows you to hire an amazing team. It allows you to have a lot more freedom. And you know those clients that always bitter at you and always get all mad and all frustrated and tell you to do this and do that and, and always tell you to change everything? You don't have those, okay? You don't have any of those. You have an amazing, okay, an amazing clientele where you don't, you actually only need a couple of clients to make a lot of money because you partner with your clients and so therefore, your whole goal should be how can I make my clients as much money as possible, therefore I make a lot of money. Okay, that's the concept. Now, let's get into a bit of the specifics here, which is that a strategic growth partner, well, I mean, it, it, it is just that, is it's a growth partner, okay? You have to partner with them. Now, what does this look like? What is, what is the fulfillment? What does the service, look, what the service delivery look like? Well, the service delivery really looks different because it differentiates for every single different client that you have. Because simply put, you can't give a one size fits all to everybody. That would be stupid. That would make no sense. How could you be a partner if you give the same thing to everybody? And you're just an agency. You're just providing a service. You're not a partner. Partners, you know, curate special offers to the people that they work with. Agencies provide one service, one, one offer. And they say, here's what I have to offer. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's not what growth partners do. And so... When you're a growth partner, your fulfillment, your service living actually depends on the person you're working with, their goals, their wants, their needs, how their systems are currently, what are their acquisition channels, what is their sales process. You take on a lot more fulfillment, you take on a lot more work because, well, you grow together. That's the nature of this business model. So, for example, what that may look like is you would analyze your entire, you'd give an audit of your client's business and you would then understand that, hey, listen, you have six acquisition channels, you have a terrible sales process, you have a horrible uh, you know, onboarding process. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna narrow those down to one acquisition channel. We're gonna dial in the sales process. We're gonna hire a team of two people to call all the leads. We're gonna do this, do that, do this, do that. We're gonna do this onboarding procedure using these type of SOPs so we can get this kind of result. And these are gonna be our KPIs we have to hit. And then we're gonna track all this data, do all these things, see how it goes. And then you go from there. And then you adjust, and then you tweak, and you adjust and tweak. So basically the concept of a growth partner is you analyze, you implement, you adjust, and you optimize. 
okay? You first have to understand what you're actually gonna do. After you figure out what you're gonna do, you're gonna do it. Once you do it, you're gonna track the data. And then after you get the data, you gotta see, okay, how is it going? What do I need to tweak? What do I need to optimize? And then you adjust and then go from there. And to make small little uh, changes, you refine every little bit as you go until you have a super dialed process for your client that allows both of you to make a ton of money. Because guess what? You partner together. You partner together to conquer a bigger goal. You see, it's so funny. In the sales call, we, <coughs> we always try and probe and we try and do problem awareness and we try and make our clients you know, know that they're aware of their problem. But it's also so ironic that like, okay, they're aware of their problem. We say we're gonna fix it, but then we really don't. We just kind of give them our service and hope it fixes it. It's like, that's not what a growth partner does. A growth partner finds out the problem, does everything they can to solve it with them. Does that sound like a partnership? Let me ask you this. If I told you two guys, okay, I'll give you two guys, guy A and guy B. Okay, so guy A goes up to somebody and says, hey, look, listen, um, here's all the problems you have. I can give you this service. It kind of solves your problems. It kind of, I'll give you this pill. Okay, it kind of solves your problems. Um, it's been shown to solve other people's problems similar, uh, but it's not really tailored to you. It's just kind of like this pill I have. Or there's guy B who says, hey, here's actually a detailed description of all the problems you have. Here's the reason for them. Here's what I think we should do. Here's, here's the things we're gonna implement to actually make these problems go away. Here's your pill. Which pill would you rather take? Probably guy B. What if I told you guy B's pill was more expensive? Would you still rather take his pill? Well, yeah, because it's gonna actually solve your problem and you are, you're set on that and you are actually bought into it because you know that he's gonna work with you to solve the problem. So would you pay more? Yeah. Would you pick the guy B too? Yeah. Okay. So you wanna be a growth partner then. Now, listen, I got nothing to sell you. I just make these videos to help you all out. Uh, if you do wanna know one of the things about being a growth partner is you're gonna leverage your time. If it wasn't abundantly clear, I wouldn't be here if I was still sending DMs on my phone. Now, that's not to say you shouldn't and don't because I did it for a very, very, very long time. Sent thousands of DMs, okay? It's very much beneficial and it's crucial that you do. But I probably couldn't be sitting here talking to you as if I was still having to send DMs. So everyone is leverage. Now, if you guys do want me to sell you something, I do co-own a software with two other amazing guys called Lead Zigger, where you can get a fuck ton of leads without wasting your time puttering around finding people, which 70% of them never reply to you. You know how we aim for a 30% reply rate and 70% never even reply? Yeah, well with Lead Zigger, you cut all that time out. So even when 70% don't, ri don't reply, you didn't actually waste much time. And guess what? There's a free plan for you motherfuckers out there so you can all get it for free. Now, back to the video, back to the rooftop views here in Spain as the sun's going down. We're having a beautiful little chat. Um, I could go into way more detail, and I want to. And I think that this is better done on a Loom chart. So here's what you're gonna do. If you're still watching, I want you to comment down below, Loom, in all caps, if you want me to make a Loom video, breaking down the fulfillment, the components, the infrastructure, and the entire process, the SOP for becoming a growth partner. Comment down below, Loom, L-O-O-M, in all caps. And I will do that. But for now, what I want you to know is that a strategic growth partner can be uh, basically found in two ways, okay? or I guess you can become one in two ways. One is changing what you do, like changing your positioning, and two, and two is well, this kind of similar, is changing your approach. You have to change your angle, your offer, your positioning, so that you come across as a benefit, and as a problem solver, and as a real partner to your clients. That's how you become a growth partner. They have to see the long-term benefit of this, right? If, they, if they're just short-minded and they only see the month to month, what are they gonna do for me next month? It's like, that's no good, that's no bueno. Right? We're in Spain here, no bueno, right? You have to make them understand and feel the components of going through working with you month to month to month to month to month, the growth aspect, the partner aspect, right? When you date somebody, you, I would hope you date to marry, correct? I would hope. So you have a longer term goal in mind. So you know what you're dating for. Imagine if you were dating for no, you, you weren't gonna get married for no reason. Do you think that relationship would last? Probably not, because there's no end goal in mind. You have to have an end goal bought in and, and, and destined and determined so you guys, you guys both know what you're working for. So start dating to get married, not just dating to fuck around. And I'm referring to more than just business in that case. Anyways, I'll catch y'all later, because I'm hungry and I'm gonna go eat. But uh, I hope you guys found some value in this, because I spilled the sauce. Get back to work. Love y'all. Peace.